The T24 wedge is Grain Flow Forge 1025 boron. The reason why it's grain flow forged and why that's so critically important is, particularly if you're playing forged irons, is to have that continuity of feel from your iron set to your wedges. Because this is grain flow forged, you're gonna have that feel. The closer you get to the green, the more you have to be in sync with your wedges. And that requires having the right bounce and having the right grind because one of the best ways to increase spin is clean contact. And to have clean contact, you need to have the appropriate turf interaction. That's why we have kind of reconfigured our grinds. We've added an additional grind in the kind of lob wedge lofts and did some things with uh, heel relief and toe relief uh, to really kind of help with that turf interaction. The new V-Grind was definitely something that we felt like was, was missing within the T22 lineup. The initial uh, thought behind the V-Grind was really looking at uh, what was in our tour players' bags and what kind of special grinds they had done. And we noticed this kind of popping up a lot. Uh, high bounce on the front, or mid to high bounce on the front, and very aggressive toe heel and trailing edge relief. And this is, gives that player who needs a little bit of higher bounce uh, a great deal of versatility. Your game is gonna have a bounce requirement, right? And a lot of that is driven by angle of attack and hand placement through impact, like how the sole is relative to the ground. So you're, you're gonna need a certain bounce uh, in order to use the, uh, go through the turf properly and execute the shot. But then you have to decide like how much relief do I want? So if you want a lot of relief for versatility, have a higher bounce requirement, you're gonna go with the V grind. If you have, if you want a lot of versatility but you need a lower bounce requirement, then you're gonna go with the X grind. The T24 compared to the T22, there are certain things you can do to make it appear more compact without losing that same uh, face area. And one way is to take this hosel transition from the top line, you take that to a little bit lower point. And another way that you can make the top line look a little bit shorter is to take a little bit of, of meat off this top toe there. So by doing that, you, you're not only kind of accentuating that teardrop shape, you're also making it appear a little bit more compact. Throughout the entire family of wedges, we increased the heel relief a lot. And how we did that was we took this grind and we wrapped it around the heel area more aggressively and we wrapped it around the toe more aggressively on certain grinds. They all have the uh, more aggressive heel. When you look at the grinds throughout the family, uh, they kind of increase in aggressiveness as you go from the S grind, which is a straight bevel with heel relief, to the D grind, which has uh, toe, and, toe and heel relief uh, with a little bit wider bevel on the trailing edge. And then you go to the C grind, which that's when you start to see like a more, a little bit more aggressive relief. Um, and then the new V grind. The V grind, which I'm holding in my hand here, is an interesting combination of very aggressive relief, but it has uh, kind of medium to high bounce on it, so that those are kind of working together to kind of create a extremely versatile wedge with a little bit higher effective bounce. Uh, and then finally the X grind, which is our most aggressive grind, but it also has low bounce. So that low bounce plus the aggressive grind makes that probably the most versatile uh, wedge in terms of executing uh, specialty shots around the green. Going all the way back to uh, 2010, the, the groove rule change, we've always done kind of a loft specific groove. On the stronger lofts, we have a narrower and deeper groove, uh, which is more suited towards a full swing. On the higher lofts, we actually have a wider and shallower groove, which lends itself more to partial swings, like as you get closer to the green, being able to get good bite on the ball, uh, a wider and shallower groove is actually more effective. So what we've done with the T24, we've actually reconfigured our grooves. It's the same exact principle, but by studying the, uh, the groove shoulder and the groove taper, 
uh, on the Groove profile, we were able to figure out a way that we could decrease the cross-sectional area of the groove, which allowed us to decrease the spacing between the grooves within the rules of USGA and 